welcome back to Alton Park after the opening race of the Bennett's BSB showdown, the eBay sprint race at round nine of the championship. Uh, return to the podium for Vision Track Kawasaki's Leon Haslam. Leon, it's fair to say that podium was gifted, but it seems that you've had a strong pace this weekend and you've been building momentum and you're not that far off, really. No, obviously we made the podium here beginning of the year and as late rate pace is, is not so bad. Uh, beginning of the race, we were just lacking a few tenths here or there and the group just got away. Um, we did catch that group up and maybe the longer race we would have had a legit podium, but we'll take them where we can. We've not had many this year, so uh, big thanks to obviously Leardy Race and all the, everyone involved, you know, Vision Track completely, Argentum, all my personal sponsors. Have, uh, you know, it's been a tough year, um, not where I'm used to finishing, especially in BSB, so uh, we'll keep pushing and hopefully we can get them some more good results for the end of the year. And you're saying you were gathering the pace. Do you think that the longer races tomorrow will play into your hands a little bit more in that case? Yeah, for sure. At the end, we definitely had a stronger pace than the guys in front. Um, but yeah, we do need to improve them early laps. You know, we can't give that big of advantage. And yeah, it's uh, step by step at this phase and uh, we'll take the podiums where we can. That's great. Congratulations, Leon. Thank you. Um, back on the podium in the opening eBay sprint race of the weekend at Autumn Park, Fox for Products Motor Rapido Ducati, Tommy Bridewell. Tommy, earlier in qualifying, you said it was going to be tough to catch Brad, but in that race, second was best of the rest, as it were, and that must feel good for you because that's moved you up. You wanted to leapfrog some of your other ride rivals. You've gone from eighth to fourth in one race, so that must feel good in that. What do you feel about tomorrow? Yes, definitely. Thanks, Laura. Hold on. I've got an itchy chin can't know to all things at once um but no 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 uh yeah no it was, that definitely is the is was the target you know um it, the good thing with the points was obviously if i was in sat in eighth in in tarrant was in third he was obviously only 23 points ahead so obviously um i see him um you know getting a dnf so that's you know tightened it all up so i think i presume there's only three points between me now and uh me and tarrant for for third so um we have to take it step by step in, in, in sort of weekend by, by weekend. Brad's, um, to be fair to him and, and the OMG team, they're doing a phenomenal job and, you know, I can't, um, I can't take that away. So where, you know, second place for us in that race then, you know, I, I had a go. Um, and when Brad sort of just started creeping away, I sort of dug in and, and I could kind of pull him back and felt, you know, I, I can make a race of this. Um, and then, the, yeah, and then I didn't. So that was that. <laughs> as we, had, we had some the heckling from the crowd then. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, exactly. Yeah. So um, no, I let him have that one. But uh, <laughs> no, yeah, all credit to them. Um, credit to, to the Oxford Products Ducati team. They've uh, they've done a great job, and, and we just keep trying to you know work on tie life and um, in chipping away. What'd you say? <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> I'm victorious in the opening race of the 2022 Bennett's BSB <coughs> Showdown in the eBay Sprint Race here at Alton Park for Rich Energy OMG Race in Yamaha. Bradley Ray, Brad, earlier on you had incredible pace for the qualifying lap, for the one-out lap in the race. It didn't seem as easy to break the pack. It wasn't until the latter stages that you were able to make that gap on the rest of them. How was it for you and at what point did you feel like you could make that break? Yeah, it wasn't easy. I didn't get the best of starts and I found myself uh, back in third. So immediately I just needed to uh, to get my head down and try and get past um, past Jason and Tommy as quick as possible and try and get into my rhythm which I managed to get in in front but I couldn't seem to uh, couldn't seem to break them at the start so I had a couple of a uh, couple of steady laps and then um, and yeah put put the hammer down to do a couple of couple of quick laps and managed to just slightly break Tommy towards the end um, start to get about 0.8 of a gap and then just uh, just dug in then to to um, try and make the gap a little bit bigger and yeah, managed to um, managed to to eke it out enough to, to be able to settle for the last few laps and, and bring the bring the rich energy IMG race in Yamaha back for the the win. And um, yes, yeah, we were happy. And on the on the first lap, let's talk through that to start with because originally Tommy and Jason were both in front of you, but you made some big moves on the first lap. Was it always the objective to get straight ahead of them so that they didn't mess up that rhythm that you talk about so frequently? Yeah, definitely. It's always it's always been an aim of mine um, in all the races this year to try and lead from from lap one and try and get that gap at the start and then manage the race towards the end. Um, seeing myself back in third, I wanted to to get through as quick as possible and um, start setting my rhythm. But yeah, it was a little bit more difficult than I, than I anticipated. But um, yeah, it's always it's always good to, to be able to, to be back in third and, and pass quite easily like that. So happy to get to get the first victory in the showdown and um, yeah, looking forward to tomorrow's two longer races. That's great. Congratulations, Thank Brad. Thank you very much. Cheers.